हे एवरी वन दिस इज त्रुवीन एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू पावर एप्स बिगिनर सीरीज यू आर वॉचिंग द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस सीरीज दिस इज द इंट्रोडक्शन चैप्टर फॉर दिस सीरीज हियर आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट वॉट इज पावर एप्स बेनिफिट्स ऑफ यूजिंग पावर एप्स एंड विच टाइप ऑफ एप वी कैन क्रिएट विद द हेल्प ऑफ पावर एप्स आई एम गिविंग टू गिव यू द ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट ऑल द अवेलेबल एप्स इन साइड द पावर एप्स सो नाउ लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड The first question arises in our mind that what is Power Apps? Power Apps is a suite of apps, services, connectors, and data platform which provides us an application development environment to build the custom application for our business or organization. We can build the custom business app using the CDS data models or various online and on-premise data sources inside Power Apps. Power Apps facilitates to build the responsive app design and can be run on web browser or any mobile devices such as phone and tablet. There are so many reasons to choose the Power Apps, but let me give you the overview about top 12 reason to choose Power Apps. First reason is it supports modern SharePoint environment. Like we all know that nowadays most of the people are moving towards a modern SharePoint tenant. So, to customize the form inside the modern sharepoint there is an approach of power apps so that is the first reason second one is it is the replacement of infopath form most of the microsoft documents suggest that in replacement of infopath we can choose the power apps third is it is no code solution you don't need to learn any technical skill or technical language in order to start with power apps fourth is it is easily accessible across all the devices with responsive user interface the reason number 6 is power apps is a part of power platform so integration with other power platform component like power bi and power automate become very easily over here number 7 is it can be easily integrate with microsoft 365 azure and dynamics 365 Reason number 8 is as this is the product of Microsoft so definitely strongly governance and security is there. Reason number 9 is it provides a capability to enhance the app with artificial intelligence or AI. Reason number 10 is it has zero downtime during the maintenance and that is the plus point. Reason number 11 is it's a cloud based and secure. And number 12 is pro dev extensibility is available over here like we can also extend the capability of power apps using power apps control framework and other dev features so these are the top 12 reason for choosing the power apps now let me give you an overview of which type of app we can create with the help of power apps we can create following three apps inside the power apps first one is canvas app second one is model driven app and third is portal app During this beginner series we are only focusing on Canvas app. We are not going to talk anything about model driven app or portal app. But definitely in future I will be creating some videos for portal apps and model driven app. So stay tuned and subscribe my channel so whenever I upload those videos you will be getting notified over there. Now let me give you the overall idea about all of these three app in detail. So first of all let me talk about Canvas apps in Power Apps. Canvas app is something which allows to design and build a business app from a canvas in Microsoft Power Apps without writing a traditional programming language such as C sharp. We can design the app by dragging and dropping elements onto the canvas just as you would design a slide in a PowerPoint. It facilitates excel like expression for specifying logic and working with data. So canvas is something which is a blank paper. We can just drag and drop different element on our canvas and achieve the functionality that we are trying to have. We will be talking more about canvas app in detail in my later video session and I am also going to provide some examples of it so you will be getting more idea about that in detail. When you are using a SharePoint as a data source, you have two different options to create the Power Apps canvas app. The first one is from a SharePoint list. So there is an option of customizing a form using SharePoint list. 
and second one is from a standalone canvas app so it is the independent canvas app that you can create we are going to talk about both of these approaches later on this session so you will be getting an idea like how you can create a canvas app using customized list form and second one is we are also going to create standalone canvas app right so there are two different options right now let me talk about model driven app let me give you a little bit introduction about what is model driven app and in which case you can use the model driven app model means data in simple word we can say that it is the app driven by the data the data can be in any form of cds it can be entities views chart dashboard and in the form of forms and specifically in model driven app we need to write the business flow using business process flow model driven app design is a component focused approach for the app development model driven app design doesn't require code and the apps you make it can be a simple or a complex based on your requirement in canvas app development the designer has much control over the app layout while in case of model driven app most of the control for your layout is designated by the components that you are adding to your app so this is the overall idea about model driven app now let me tell you a few example of model driven app we can consider ai builder example and most of the dynamics 365 apps are developed with the help of model driven app now let's move over to the third part of the application that we can create with the help of power apps which is the portal app let me give you a little bit introduction about the portal apps portals help us to create the public facing website or external facing website that allows users from outside the organization to sign in with the wide variety of identities identities can be anything the user can log in to the portals app using facebook or google or using linkedin so so many out of the box identities are provided over there anyone from outside the organization can view and create the data using common data service or even they can access and browse the content anonymously so portal is the whole new way to access the power app anyone can access the public content anonymously from browser and it provides a different authentication mechanism to view the specific data from the cds entities now let me talk about different examples where we can create the portal apps for partner management you can create the portal app for your organization customer self service and faqs are some of the examples using portal app so this was the overall idea about the portal app so with this we have completed our first chapter where we have talked about what is power apps benefits of using power apps and all three types of apps available in power apps now in the next chapter we are going to talk about how we can start the development process with power apps so stay tuned with my next session if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel also i am uploading one new video every day on power platform like power bi power apps power automate power virtual agent teams and sharepoint if you have any corporate or business inquiry you can contact me on my whatsapp number which is plus 9195379814671 Stay tuned with me on other social media platform like Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and WhatsApp. If you wish to receive the daily notification from my channel, you can click on this link. It will be redirecting you to this form. Fill the form, and you will be receiving daily notification on your WhatsApp number. Stay tuned with me. Have a great day. Goodbye.